Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Forex VKS. So today is 14 December 2021. Today is Tuesday. Uh, let's check out the introduction before before we start. Do remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment uh, on my uh, on my video. And uh, let's check our introduction. Disclaimer, be advised that I am not a professional financial consultant or advisor. I am sharing this information for education purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, or other information contained on this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Okay, let's check out the news. Monday, we don't, we don't have any uh, big event on Monday. So today is Tuesday. We got a Canada uh, government, McLean speaks, pound, uh, U UK, bank stress, uh, bank stress, stress result. Uh, and uh, BOE government Bailey speaks so this one uh, it's possible there's some volat volatility today and also Tuesday we got USD PPI okay PPI is not important on for the current moment okay but this is still an indicator of the current economy condition uh. okay on Wednesday we got a uh, government uh, all speaks for New Zealand we got China retail sales we got CPI numbers on pound uh, okay this one you have to watch out okay uh high CPA numbers okay will be good for the okay currency uh, okay and also this one uh, Canada also CPA numbers coming in uh to tomorrow and we got uh retail sales okay also you have might want to watch out retail sales uh good retail sales number also will help the uh US dollar okay and uh Empire State Manufacturing uh okay not that important so Thursday we got Canada um Thursday morning uh, okay uh government McLean speaks so we got FOMC okay this is important uh, okay federal fund rate so this one you uh, have to be have to watch out okay because this will have a uh, impact on the US dollar okay so uh also we got uh NZD early in the morning okay we got NZD GDP coming New Zealand dollar New Zealand and uh, we also have this unemployment rate okay on a uh, aud okay which, which do have some impact on the currency uh, okay uh then we got a uh, smb policy on the swiss franc pmi number then we have a lot of PM, pmi numbers okay for the okay uh on thursday a lot of pn number and uh, also uh, this one pound okay uh official bank rate uh uh, uh bank rate votes and this one official bank rate uh, okay you have to be careful on this one a lot of monetary policy that's why you, the market is a bit uncertain okay this week you can see the uh, stock market uh, some uncertainty and you can see the currency market right i think uh, a major move okay will there be have there will have a major move probably today or tomorrow okay going into the going into the uh, Thursday where a lot of all these policy rate coming out and also refinancing rate we also having uh, this refinancing rate for a uh, euro okay so the, a lot of uh, these are uh, central bank statement coming out uh, so okay so be very careful be careful uh, be careful okay so probably you might don't want to trade during a uh, Thursday okay so a lot of the bank move you you probably a lot of move right the the currency will move probably today and tomorrow okay and apart on a uh, thursday itself it will be very volatile okay it might change either way but they, they should be a move before that prior to that huh? okay because there is the bias already being made uh, before the news uh. okay we got pmi numbers and uh, other than that okay there's not too not too much information on friday so we have to be careful okay uh wednesday and thursday uh, okay have to be careful Okay, let's look at the chart. Look at the XY. 
Okay, so the XY strengthened a bit today because uh, it's still it's still under consolidation. Okay, it's still in console, consolidation mode. We got rejection at S1. We got rejection rejection at the top, rejection at bottom. Consolidation looks like now price is slowly starting to break up. Okay, book looks looks like it is trying to go to R1. Okay, price uh, a, a, a bullish engulfing candle here. Okay, a uh, consolidation looks like the price is breaking out. Okay, from this uh, consolidation, uh, we see a small a uh, 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 small consolidation over here, right? Okay, so the price actually is trying to break out from here. So lightly, okay, looks like a uh, USD is strengthening slightly for now. Uh, but we don't see any buying opportunity here okay from this price section right because too much congestion here uh, we don't see uh, any price, price uh, buying opportunity here but of course our uh, setup will be okay if the price come back to s1 rebound possible buy opportunity uh, okay or the price grows to r1 for buy opportunity one two three continuation uh, okay one two three continuation Euro USD. In Euro USD similar. We are having rejection here at the bottom. We are having uh, uh, not uh, price is going sideways. Okay, price is going sideways. We got a lot of inside, uh, inside. Sideways price price action over here. So this one was similar, okay. Similar, we are still waiting for the price probably come down to R1, a rejection for sell opportunity, okay, or a, a break, okay, or a break of S1, uh, okay, a break of S1 for a sell opportunity, uh, okay. So there's not uh, no clear opportunity here from a. Uh, uh, Euro USD this can still go either way, uh, okay. This can still go either way. So the best is a uh, break of S1 uh, for a sell opportunity for one, two, three continuation. Pound. Okay, our pound we have we had a sell trade over here. Okay. Uh looks like we is okay, it's uh still on its way, uh, on its way going to S1, so this one continue to hold the trade. It looks like USD strengthening. Okay, so this one continue to hold the trade. We executed a sell trade over here. Okay, so uh, USD JPY, USD JPY. As I said, this is too sideways to trade. Okay, price is just uh, it's nowhere. Okay, in the no man's land in the middle here between S1 and R1, and this looks like a uh, okay. This this is a. a an area where, where the price right has no direction uh, okay it's an area where the price has no direction okay so if we this is a false break right you count this one as false break so the price is just zigzag in a sideways price section so we are not trading this okay AUD USD AUD looks look like look look like it's coming down uh, to S2 uh. okay so there's a probability high probability okay uh, that the price will be coming down to S2 because you look at this right this is a one two three rejection okay See this one two three rejection right one two three reversal uh, okay one two three reversal okay so the price broke the bottom here so this one looks like it want to reverse uh, okay so uh, looks like the AUD looks like strengthening slowly uh, but steadily okay you see strengthening so there is a sell opportunity over here uh, as I said as, uh, the can uh, the candle over here so the break of the S1, uh, okay, sell opportunity towards S2. Okay. It's in dollar USD. So we got, uh, we opened the trade over here, right? After the break of this, uh, uh, one two three continuation pattern right 
after the break of the top over here he took the trade here one two three continuation right so we took the trade after the break of this uh uh bottom so the price will still continue going down uh, to our target around okay target will be around s1 uh, okay support one so this one continue to hold the trade usd cat so usd cat we took, took a trade over here okay so usd cat is uh, has been quite very kind to us uh, okay so we managed to get one trade here we lost one trade so this trade also we so we back two trade uh, and lost one okay uh this uh usd cat so this one actually hit our target the price is still continue up very strong okay looks like the price want to go to uh possible go to the r2 area okay but uh this one if you want to trade this one right wait for retracement first okay retest r1 then only go for a buy opportunity uh, okay so this one price really gone too far we really took the sell trade or buy trade over here so we got uh, profited this one so this one wait for a, a retracement okay go go just nothing uh, go is just not doing anything so we are not trading go uh spi spi we are waiting for it for the hit in for the double bottom to form uh, okay so we are not trading over here at the neckline here okay so there's nothing not too much to trade it can go either way so this one wait and see the dex dex okay dex there is a one two three continuation pattern over here there's a buy opportunity so this one continue to hold the price <laughs> did a uh, okay this one if you want to close the trade also it's okay it's fair also because we got a rejection at the top rejection at the bottom actually we are looking for this uh, uh we, are, we are buying this pin bar right okay towards uh r2 okay 16067 uh, okay but there is this one we have a rejection candle over here so if you want to close the trade also it's okay because it's too big a pin bar to ignore looks like this one uh can go either way okay so this one if you want to close the trade it's okay next deck we are waiting for one two three continuation for the price to break through but it didn't happen uh, so the price reverse okay the what price reverse down so this one temporarily this trade okay is no more uh no more on the table so this one we have to wait for a rebound uh, at s1 or rebound at s2 for buy opportunity we are still looking to buy this okay we are looking to buy this so uh, uh this one is a reverse <laughs> okay so this one we might have a loss here because the price breakthrough there's a buy opportunity but then we got bearish engulfing so this one probably you want to close the trade now okay because uh this doesn't look good so this okay this uh this one doesn't work out Okay, this one there's no opportunity here this one also might not work out okay this one maybe you want to close the trade and uh, this one also doesn't look good okay bearish engulfing possible want to close the trade look at s p okay s p didn't break out so us uh us stock market is having problem uh, breaking out from uh, the previous high here okay so all this trade now no more Okay, so the possible possible trade okay we are still holding this one okay this one and uh, this this three trade uh, okay uh, pound usd ud usd and uh, nzd usd so this three trade actually uh, doesn't look good okay for uh to continue to trade this uh okay so that's it for today okay don't forget subscribe like share and comment uh, okay so stay safe from colleagues see you again tomorrow bye bye